Hi all. So I'm back in the garage again and I'm starting, well not really starting, I started this project a long long time ago, all the way back in those happy old days of lockdown and Covid. What it is, I'll show you a better picture in a minute, I 3D printed some wings for my car. The wings I vaguely told, I've got a Tamiya model of a Lotus 72 in my office and I sort of vaguely kind of took the shape from that. So it's, it's very much a guess and you can see it's 3D printed in plastic. Uh, the plan is, is if these things work, I may print them slightly bigger, um, but I'm kind of using them in effect like a former. So the plan is, is to probably cover them in a layer of carbon if they work or maybe even an alley I haven't quite decided that one yet first thing I need to do is work out how to fit them and then I want to make sure these things are actually working so I'm going to design a fitment a temporary fitment for one of them that will fit this on the end of what's called a load cell which is the thing that kind of measures force um, much the same as if you've got electronic scales, they're kind of the sensors that you'll have on your electronic scales. On the front of the car I've already got this sort of very basic splitter. So my plan is, is to use some angle alley and bolt it in basically where the bolts hold the splitter in and then mount the wing onto there. So I'm going to sort that out first, then once that's sorted out, I can then, it's going to be stuck out a mile, but I can then sort out or design a mount that the uh, load cell will then bolt to this, and then I'd have the wing in front. It's literally just to see if it, if it does anything. So this is the general idea. To have it mounted up there, it doesn't look like there's a lot of clearance, I will double check that. As you can see it doesn't come anywhere near out as a wheel, so I guess if this does show any signs of creating any downforce, I can probably, probably even double the length, I'm not too sure how tall I can do it in a 3D printer, and casting my mind back a very long time. I think these, these things took about three hours to print so I'll have to have a think about that but so that's very very roughly what's going on uh, obviously I'm going to need some form of spacer here and this load cell thing for the test that's the basic mounting knocked up I don't know why you can see that really but so now what I need to do to be able to measure if this is doing any downforce is mount a load cell on here and then have a separate mount for the wing. So this is a load cell. Basically, yeah, I'm being very optimistic that this can uh, measure up to 100 kilograms. So I'm being very, very, very over what's the name in the... Uh, the spec on this but basically what happens and if I put this in the vice I can use both hands yeah there's some little electronics in here uh, that are basically called well, they're basically a variable resistor that when this is bent down you know minuscule amounts their resistance changes so there's four of them in there and they're configured in what's called a wheatstone bridge it means that if I supply some voltage onto the black and the red wires what comes out on the other wires is directly proportionate to the force that's put there so all I need to do is measure that voltage and do a bit of maths and it would tell me the force what I'm actually going to do is connect this up to an Arduino so the Arduino does the maths for me 
and on to probably a little LCD so as I can see it as I'm driving along or I'll, I'll get some mug to sit in the passenger seat and be my data logger. This one will need adapting slightly because they're, they're sort of designed that you have a one end secured to say the ground and this end secured to something that you're, you're going to measure weights or whatever it is. Um, so there's threads in here but of course the threads are in the wrong direction for what I need for this wing. So I'm just going to have to drill some holes in this thing and put some threads in. This is the sort of mechanics of it. So load cell in here, obviously this is all loose at the moment. Load cell in there and then the wing hanging off the front. In theory, this wing, when I'm going along, creates downforce, which will twist that down. And I'll get a reading off of there that will tell me how much that's pushing down. Obviously, this is going to look really ugly, but I think it would do the job. The only thing I am concerned about, and it's a concern with all of this actually, is that this is um, 20 by 1. I think I'll have a little Google in a minute and see what uh, the sort of bending or twisting force that can withstand is. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't have a clue how much down for you. In fact, let's try and uh, do a little, I don't know, I can't do a competition of this because I haven't got anything to give you. But just pause the video now and in the comments put down how many kilograms you think that is going to create in downforce. Or if you're really, really pessimistic, you can put minus kilograms if you think it's actually going to start lifting the front of the car up. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a clue. I'd be really happy if it did like 20. What I'm, going to, I'm aiming to do is measure it at 60 miles an hour because I think that's a reasonable speed for doing it. So in the comments, put down what you think how many kilograms of downforce this is going to create at 60 miles an hour bearing in mind this car the f weight on the front wheels is about 200 kilos so it's about 100 kilos on each wheel so even if i could only get 25 kilos out of these well even if i only got 10 kilos out of these it would add 10 percent to the kind of weight on the front tires anyway i've got to go and start playing around with a bit of coding now but i'll show you a bit of that as it goes along i'm sure when some of you saw how thin that angle iron was that i was planning on using for the wing uh, where you were shouting at your computer screens or your phones saying that's too bloody thin and yeah, after fitting the um no towel. I totally agree. So I've just arrived is so this is now three mil and it's thirty either side. So a fair bit stiffer. So I'm gonna just remake that, use that as a template to do the holes. So back inside this isn't all my code, I won't claim credit for this. Um with the Arduinos there's actually quite a lot of code that's already online ready to be used um, I've just adapted this a little for what I want and added in so it's got an output on an LCD so we've got a 3d printed wing attached to the much larger alley owl bracket that will go on the front of the car with our load cell and we've got it attached to our Arduino and you can see the LCD is showing measurement at the moment. So if we pretend that's attached to the car with the wing hanging in free air, we get a result of about zero. Then if we stick a lump of lead on the end of the wing, pretending to be downforce, which is about 1.9 kilos, got 1.8 there. Part of the setup of this software is a little calibration check, which obviously I need to do when this is actually fit it to the car. So with the second lump on there we've got a total of about 2.8, 2.9 which 
kind of agrees with what kitchen scales are saying for those weights. So I'm quite happy with that. Oops. Uh, that will be a solid bit of lead. Uh, right, okay, so this circuit's going to stay pretty well in prototype like this because it's it's only going to be used for this one job. All right, I'm going to end this little video here and do a second part with attaching this to the car and a run out and see what results we get on there. Um, and as I said before, it would be great if you put a comment in the comments with your prediction. Could we even end up with, like it is at the moment, and it actually creating lift? I suppose that's quite possible as well. Anyway, hopefully uh, the weather will improve and I'll be able to get this, get this on the car and get out and test it sometime over the Easter break. So second video shouldn't be long away. If you find my ramblings on projects like this of any interest, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Then you will know when I'm going to be muttering away next time. Thanks and bye. Hi, thanks for getting to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so now. Just hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button and that way YouTube will tell you when there's any new videos. We've got some big plans ahead for the channel including possibly a car build from scratch so if you want to get involved with that now's the time to subscribe. Cheers then, bye!